welcome back to my channel. My name is Praetorian Guard, and today I'm going to be beginning a new campaign in Toto in Attila. I'm going to be playing as Western Roman Empire. Well, uh, the, and I've chosen the Western Romans because uh, you know I've been wanting to return to Attila uh, for quite some time, and uh, what better way to return to Attila than play as Western Roman Empire? Uh, it says here the initial challenge is legendary. And, uh, you know, uh, what better way to return to Attila than with a hefty challenge? Uh, well, as we can see, the faction leader is Augustus, Flavius Honorius Augustus. Our religion is Latin Christianity. Our cultural trait is Imperial Allegiance, which uh, means that we can levy units from friendly hordes passing through Roman territory, and it's going to be extremely useful against the Huns, mainly because we can uh, recruit some uh, horse archers that only they have. Our faction trade is cultural integration, which uh, reduces our upkeep cost uh, by 2% for non-Roman unit in a military force. We have, uh, although we have constant immigration and uh, reduce in public order penalty due to immigration by 50%. So I'm going to be playing it on normal, I want to enjoy this campaign, I don't want to uh, be frustrated, I want to sit back, relax, I want you to do the same. Uh, so yeah, we're starting in 395 AD. Uh, I want to play as Eastern Romans, to be exact, well, because they have a, an initial challenge which uh, is a bit more easier than the Western Romans, but uh, not by that much. And I wanted to return with a challenge. And I wanted to provide myself with a challenge with returning to Attila. So, yeah, let's begin our campaign. I have noticed I have been gone from YouTube for a while, since to attend to each semester. So, yeah, the, the I want to upload two videos per week, probably, if that's possible. Or maybe one video per week. We'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, uh, I want uh, I want gradually, not with the beginning. And I don't want so you'll be seeing one video probably per week. Yeah, something like that. So that's what's the intro. The air was filled with smoke and blood. The Roman Empire was divided. From the pillars of Hercules to the far reaches of the Adriatic, the Western Empire stretched. Sacred Earth, where men of greatness conquered. But those who followed neglected Rome, fighting over the scraps of past glory. cast aside their petty differences or succumb to barbarous darkness. And behold a red horse and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Romans of the Western Empire those noble sons of the Eternal City. The time had come to restore power to Rome. They made ready for war. It was the will of the late Emperor Theodosius that Rome be divided. And this has left you in a precarious situation. Overstretched and desperately trying to protect the Western Empire from barbarian threat, the burden of military and civil maintenance has left your economy in tatters. Public order is waning, so it may be wise to consolidate your forces closer to the capital, ceding frontier territories as a buffer if necessary. Once your infrastructure has been strengthened, 
and the immediate threats dealt with, you will be ready to strike forth, conquer your enemies, and if possible, regain dominion over the Eastern Roman Empire. Build a Roman Empire worthy of Augustus himself. So thank you, advisor. I'm not gonna be needing your advices <laughs> for quite some time. Uh, they made ready for war. Chapter 1, preparation. Survive until spring of 400. We'll get 2000. We're well, alright then. Uh, well, the intro was quite exhilarating. Uh, it's happy. I'm happy to be here returning to Attila. As I can see, we have Swabians roaming through our lands. There are. Uh, their horde. So yeah, we need to deal with the Swabians, so they give them land to to farm, or we can annihilate them, which is not uh, quite an option at this point, as our legions are depleted, half strength, and so we have to uh, get them up to full strength. Now I could merge these units and uh, recruit some, but as you can see, we can only get some Limitani border guards, which is a heavy spear infantry, and we only have Voderati spears, which I might do, I might do in quite some time, but first I want to organize my plan and put it into action. Now, uh, it will be difficult to uh, protect Britannia, we don't have the troops, we only have one legion, and it's yeah quite depleted, and the enemies are quite strong. I mean, the Caledonians uh, have a lot of troops, as well as the Abdanians, and we might get some uh, raids from the Northmen, quite, uh, namely the Franks, Danes, Jutes. But we can hold beyond uh, these mountains, the Pyrenees, into Spain. We can uh, try and hold North Africa, which. Well, I'll mainly do in Cathago. I'll try to hold, to hold this region, which will be our breadbasket, and we'll have a lot of fields uh, up until the uh, the fertility change and the climate change. Sorry. Now we have the Eastern Romans. We'll see how they uh, deal with their Visigothic uh, horde, their Visigoth hordes. Uh, it will be a challenge. Okay. But, um, yeah, I will cede uh, these lands, Sirmium and, uh, you know, this territory. I'm going to cede them to the barbarians. I'm going to uh, fortify an Aquilia, which is, uh, yeah, it will be a stronghold. We need to make it a stronghold, actually. And I'm going to return all of my legions back to Mediolanum and, you, you know, to Italy in general. I'm gonna try and hold uh, Narbonensis, but uh, we'll see how that goes as well. I want to try and hold Avaricum, which has uh, the gold mines. Uh, it's gonna be a source of great income, and um, I'm gonna be sending at least a legion back there, or maybe two. No, no, I'll see. Uh, I'll maybe. You know, uh, have my Britannia, Britannic Legion uh, move to modern day France, uh, move it to uh, the Gallic territory and try and hold them there. It's going to be vital to some extent. But uh, we'll see how that goes. If I see that I'm being uh, forced to, to retreat from Britannia, I'll pull this Legion down to to France and uh, I'm gonna fortify probably to Avaricum. Now that that is done we need to first negotiate with the Swabians which we may be at war with. No? No. Well I'm gonna try and negotiate with them, give them some land settle to and probably and use them as listening. buffer zone. So yeah yeah it's okay. I'll be done with. Now, can we get some non aggression? No. Some military alliance? No. Uh, gift region? Yeah. Let's give them Lugdunum, the region they're 
currently in. Let's see. Let's first see what the infrastructure we have. Oh, it's the region capital. Well, if they move towards Turonum, Avaricum, or Octodurum, I'd be more pleased to give them that because uh, you know the capital. Uh, we can have many more buildings. Uh, I don't know. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see later on. Let's move on. Let's start. Let's see first. Who is the uh, region with the most income? It's Narbonensis, and that's probably the reason why I want to keep it. Uh, it has a uh, taberne, auditorium. Is that from the same tech tree? Yeah, it's from the same tech tree, but from the taberne we can get wine emporium, food emporium. I remember one of them has uh, some excellent wealth income. Probably is that the wine emporium. Yeah, wine market, wine emporium. And uh, yeah, we get more road development from the Wine Emporium. So yeah, I'm going to be going for the Wine Emporium in many regions. But first I'll see to that Italia uh, gets some buildings because we are lacking any food. So we need to change that. Let's uh, build fields here. Let's build some fields. Uh, to Venetia, which has Ravenna, Verona, and Aquilia. Oh, we have olive trees. Yeah, we need to upgrade these two. Uh, in Aquilia, I'm gonna keep the godhouse. In Verona, well, I'm gonna be tearing it down and building some fields because we're gonna need them. Now, as to religion, I'm gonna try and keep. Uh, boosting the Latin Christianity, which will stabilize our uh, our empire. But I'm gonna be upgrading some Baptist, some churches, some uh, later on in the late game, because now we will only be gonna be wasting money and uh, upping the maintenance cost for these churches and baptistries. Now we have military jetties in Aquilia. We might need them as it provides a hefty garrison. Uh, moving on, we're gonna be no Belgica. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna abandon you. <laughs> I'm gonna spend any money. Uh, Lusitania, it's in Spain. Probably want some fields here too. Fox Augusta. Uh, Baetica. What do you have? You're short on food too, so let's build some fields. Um, Carthago, as I said, I'm gonna make you the bread basket, so we will need some fields, but you have problem with sanitation as well. And I'm not gonna build any in these three uh, cities, Pleptis Magna, Sabrata and Macomades, because um, you know, I'm gonna be uh, abandoning this re this region as well. So, Insule Occidentalis, yeah. You have rich fields, so I'm gonna be building some more. Let's see, Lagdonensis, Magna Graecia. Yeah, I'm gonna be needing some fields here too. have the orchards yeah so we probably want to upgrade these two and uh, I might be converting some jetties to fishing jetties I'm gonna build a fishing jetty here probably now let's see what else we can build in uh, Mediolanum we also have rich fertility, so I'm gonna be needing more fields. And I'm gonna build the marble ingenue, the marble stone cutter, uh, which is gonna up our trade income. 
Now where else can we build some fields? Carthaginensis. Oh, Carthaginova. Yeah, what has its average? Well, you are minus six food, so yeah, I'm gonna be building some fields in Hispania because I'm trying to keep Hispania, uh, you know, defend the Pyrenees and probably defend Gibraltar here. So let's see what else can I build in this turn. Probably not much. Probably not much. I'm returning this legion back. This, le this legion is going to fortify in Aquilia. The two Gallic legions are gonna be fortifying Avaricum. And probably I'm gonna send you back to Hispania to deal with insurrection. <laughs> probably. But uh, I'm gonna try and stabilize it. And you are going to try and defend Londinium and see how far we go with uh, Britannia without losing it. I'm gonna let them uh, sheet Boracum and other cities. I'm gonna be fighting these the small battles. It's gonna take up a lot of time, but uh, hopefully we're gonna cause a lot of damage so we can slow down their advance and you know, build up our forces and try to defeat them. I don't think I have any navies though, do I? No, I only have legions and uh, land forces. So yeah, I'm gonna be building uh, a lot of fields, try and boost our uh, food income, our food surplus, sorry. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna build a lot of things in Britannia, we'll um, probably build something here. Probably build field. What's your main cause for disorder? Religious differences and food. Yeah, so we we can sort food out. We probably can sort out uh, uh, the low public order. We can probably stabilize it. So yeah, the first turn I'm gonna build all the fields. Then I'm gonna uh, try and build some sanitation buildings in a lot of regions, so let's see if we can get some trade agreements though. It will be a great bo uh, income boost. Alamans, do you want to trade? You, uh, oh, you want to trade, so let's get some honor. money out of you. High, okay. Still high. Oh, it's moderate now. It's low. So, yeah, 1500. You rejected it. Of course you did. Let's try and off and demand slightly less, you know, 1300. Thank you. I thank you. Thank you. The name of now, any more trade incomes? Trade deals, sorry. Markman's Greetings, friend. We will speak together they won't you wish, but bring to trade with me. It's okay. How much are you willing to pay for that? Well, not much. No, it's low. Low. Moderate. You're not willing to pay a lot of money, as I can see. It's okay. 300 is 300. Uh, you know, I'm gonna be exploiting this thing in the beginning. I'm not gonna be doing it in late game, just because I need money to build a lot of buildings. Let's see if some want come, peace. Come, come, let me hear your talk. Of I course you want you. peace. No, but I can offer you some money in order to make a peace agreement. No, okay. How about the Jutes? Do you, you want to be the ear of my people? Do no. not waste me. Uh, Saxons? Do you want peace? My time is better spent feasting. No. How about the Ostrogoths? Do you, you want peace? The ear of my people. No. Why not? Give me some peace. So the Quadians. 
Are you brave or foolish? Or just bad? Well, speak. No, I will listen before I turn you inside out. Payment. Offer. How about a thousand? Okay, thank you for this. Well, I hope they don't declare war on me next turn because I paid them a lot of money. And I'm gonna be taking my money back. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try. Uh, Berdigala, uh, you have fishing jetties. Cool. Avaricum has garrison encampment, which is. Let's see the, the garrison. Oh, it's quite. It's quite strong. Um, look, Dunham. Yeah, you're quite weak. So yeah, I'll tear the buildings down. You know, get some money off of them, and uh, probably I'm gonna be uh, returning the region to. Oh, wait and see where they go. Probably give them this uh, region next turn. As for technology, I'm going to be focusing a little bit in uh, military, in the military tree, because we can get some uh, some stronger units early on. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Let's get our Legio. Yeah, we need 2,500. Two yeah, probably we'll have them next turn. And so we can, uh, you know, upgrade our cohorts and get our legio quite early on. And then I'll focus on unlocking the other, the other technologies. And then I'll, uh, I'll deal with uh, the civic tech tree. Probably, yeah, we need the farms, but for now we need stronger units in order to hold out against the hordes of barbarians. So any small battles, I'm going to be playing them. Uh, you know, to whittle down the enemy, and yeah, so this video is going to be quite long, I don't know how long, but it's going to be, and uh, probably 45 minutes, if I'm lucky, I don't know, uh, I'm going to have to check the timer, uh, let's, let's lower the sound though, let's lower the speeches, because yeah, in the diplomacy screen, the guy was shouting pretty loudly. The master would get it to 50%. Good. Good. Let me check my timer. How long have I been recording? Well, yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, I think I'm ready to end my first turn. Do I want to keep them in Constantina? Um, probably, probably. Although I want to move them back to Carthago. Let's let's move them back to Carthago. Yeah, let's end this turn. Oh, yeah. Faction management. Forgot about that. We have Flavius Honoris Augustus and Flavius Stilico, which we're gonna be making him a military count. We have Sextus Perennis the legendary man himself. Let's make him a military count as well. And uh, Hilarious also. I'm gonna be making him a military count. Um, so, who of you have low loyalty? Yeah, all of you. So, let's go with with you. It's whose name I cannot pronounce, but yeah, let's make him a count. You need to find a husband, but you don't have a lot of gravitas or influence. So yeah, I'm gonna be probably marrying her to uh, the legend. <laughs> I might rename the this legion that he's in, in the legend, the legends, probably. Let's see, where is Sextus Perennis? You're hilarious. Yeah, you're going to Spain. And you are Flavius. So, you're Sextus. So, yeah, Sextus is 
up in Britannia. We'll see how long we can keep this up. If we see that we are losing our footing in Britain, I'll uh, bring him down to to France, to the Gaelic regions. Um, yeah, I think we're quite ready. And this turn. Well, sorry, forgot the forgot the governors. Obviously, I forgot them. So, governors, do they increase? Do they increase the wealth? He's out of favor. Indecisive attacker. Um, public order. Get public order now. Yeah, you're not that hot for for that. You, maybe you are a bit better. Hopefully. Upkeep cost. Yeah. No, but you have landowner, which is a uh, maintenance cost and wealth from agricultural and animal husbandry building. So yeah, we'll probably put you in um, in Carthago. Is it Carthaginensis? No, it's Africa. So I'm gonna be putting you in Africa. You, the emperor, you have, you have authority. Oh, you can upgrade your authority quite a lot. Let's see. Yeah, it's gonna give us public order, but that's that. You don't have a lot of great things going for you. You only have personal influence gain, uh, authority. Yeah, we you're you're not exactly ideal, if I may say so. Let's see if we can have a few candidates. Duskmaster and Magnate, yeah, probably want you. I'm gonna put you in uh probably Spania because I wanna reserve the Italian peninsula for uh you know, someone more fitting. Uh, although it's gonna give us great boost to industrial buildings. Yeah, let's let's see where where do we have the where do we have the mines here in Spain? We have them in Bra Bracara, yeah, in Galicia. So industry, yeah, we probably want you to put you here in Bracaria. Yeah, magnates. This is Lusitania. Yeah, Lusitania. So you see, our income skyrocketed to 6,500 almost. So yeah, let's end this turn. Uh, oh, I got the edicts, forgot them too. Um, well, it's the corruption. Yeah, let's see how how much the corruption takes away. Other. You don't say to the expenditure, maintenance, army, keep upkeep, yeah. But doesn't say, doesn't say here how much corruption we got throughout the empire. We're gonna, we have to go region by region and see what what corruption we have. So here we have 55% corruption. Dear God, I'm gonna have to address this. So, not here. Yeah, we can... Well, didn't put you here? Put you in Lusitania? Oh dear. Oh dear, I'm gonna be changing it next turn. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be changing it next turn, so yeah, no edict for you. No edict for you. Damn. I'm quite all over the place today. Yeah, how are you? How much corruption do you have? 55%, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corruption reduction. Yeah, corruption reduction. Let's see how well that benefits us. I can still sign a provincial governor. Yeah, I don't have any fitting provincial governors. And the edict that, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be too. So, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, transfer, actually, move or move. Move the, uh, the politician, I think I've put in, uh, 
in Lusitania, I'm gonna move him to Galatia. Oh, hello, we have a raiding party. Hello. Saxons. A lot of Saxon spears I see, Nordic band. Well, nothing, nothing quite threatening, but they have a lot of numbers, and I only have quite a few troops. Um, can I? Can I defeat them? Honestly? No. No. I can try and cause some... Yeah, some disruption among them. Yeah. Yeah, let's fight this. Yeah, let's fight this. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Into the transport ships. Hello, decided to run amok, that's why I don't see these seconds of the video, uh, you know, commands. I tried to, uh, but eventually I had to restart the game. So yeah, I'm back here, so I'll be, uh, you know, editing these two videos together. I forgot to mention I'm using some uh, reskin mods in this campaign, uh, and um, some other less known mods for uh, to better enhance you know my experience and your experience to that extent in this campaign so I'll be using the Defensores Romanum which is a reskin for the Romans I'll be using the brighter weapon textures which um, you know makes the weapons of all, the fa of all factions more brighter uh, it doesn't have that blackened uh, finish that they have in the vanilla game I'll be using the Olympian Battle and Campaign Camera mod, as well as uh, Natural Water mod and the uh, more detailed unit uh, tab. Uh, it's a mod that provides uh, more uh, more information about the uh, rate of fire, how many uh, the accuracy, uh, I believe. No, not accuracy. No, the range. Yeah, sorry, the range of uh, the unit that the units have. Let's see, yeah, you see here it's the uh, range and rate of fire as well as uh, some other uh, information such as uh, bonus against cavalry, the attack against cavalry and uh, attack against infantry. So, let the battle begin. We have some uh, some light marines which uh, we're gonna be using them or can we? We, we, we? we can't ram? No, we cannot ram ships. So I'm gonna be taking some of the units out. Some, uh, some of the skirmisher units. So we can deal with less skirmishers. Yeah. Yeah, I'll position it right here. Yeah, so sorry for this. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, my throat's not that well in the last few days. Um, I'm gonna be, uh, you know, editing the two videos together, so hopefully it won't take uh, a lot of effort and it's not gonna ruin you know, the video that much. But I say it's quite a start <laughs> in this campaign. Um, well, what? Yeah, I will have the barricade here. So they won't be able to flank me around. To flank around me. Uh, I'm gonna be hiding my cavalry in this patch of woods here. Uh, or here probably. Yeah, probably here. See where they land and uh, how many they land. I'm gonna be Well they don't have any don't have any cavalry as far as I can see. So I'm gonna have the spears hold this one here, this, this opening, and I'm gonna use my cohorts, 
seeing that they all have uh, some angle in their ships yeah they'll probably go for these beaches here not so much these here so yeah I'm gonna be defending yeah so maybe yeah we'll have the cohorts there so they can throw the pilum or darts or however you want to call them I'm gonna have you stationed up in this in this uh, hill in this opening you as well I'm gonna have the Sagittari here I'm gonna be well do I want heavy shot? no well no only for the general's unit yeah only for the general's unit where, where is the general's unit? oh there's a the general yeah probably only for the general but uh, well most of it we don't need heavy shot so yeah let's start the battle don't forget that your units have a range of abilities that can be used to improve their performance in battle. I need to text only and... We outnumber the enemy! So, yeah. We... We hold these walls today We want to take down some of the, the transports. The Lord has given us. Um... The enemy is attacking our general! Well, they used to peel them. So, yeah, I'll try to land this ship later. Later on. And probably use it for... You know, find the right This is gonna, gonna stay in there. Well, they're gonna lose some ammo there. Hopefully. Yeah, they lost some ammo. So, that's less ammo they're gonna be using against them. So, yeah, as you can see, the skirmishers have used up quite a lot of their ammo. And we're gonna take out their, their archers. So, yeah, that's. Effectively, that's one, two, three, four units that we've destroyed. Well, have uh, incapacitated. And our Marines have endured, which is quite cheerful. So, yeah, I'm gonna be going against the other archers. And hopefully. My marines, <coughs> I'm sorry, can withstand the barrage of uh, film that they're gonna throw. If we manage to catch up to them, we've gone quite a long way. Uh, can we, can we reach them? Uh, excuse me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower the speech sound. Oh yeah, it's reverted all the way back. Sorry for that. Yeah, I think, I uh, think, yeah, I think there is good. Yeah, sorry for that. Now, uh, hopefully, now you can hear me better. Let's go and attack them. Uh, we probably, probably can. <coughs> Otherwise, I'll have to, you know, I have to land them. Uh, we'll see where they go. I'm gonna be keeping my cavalry all the way back so that they won't reach it and so we can flank around. Oh no, let's keep it here. Let's see if our ships if our ship can intercept some of their archers. Probably I believe if they don't land immediately. Yeah. Well no I I can't hear a thing. Sorry for that. Yeah, the effect back up. Yeah, okay. I think now it's it's quite balanced now. Oh, they're gonna land. Dang it. Well, we can take out this Nordic band. Have them at least taken out. Yeah, you landed. You glitched out. Okay. So I'm gonna be taking them all fired wheel. Yeah, now you're moving. 
Okay, so you're gonna take the initial volley. But hopefully you will be able to take them out. No problem. Uh, okay. Hopefully... Yeah. Hopefully we will have taken a lot of units out so they won't pose such a threat. Let's use the whip. Let's take our archers off fire at will. You are off fire at will as well. So how are our marines doing? Yeah, they're struggling a bit. They're struggling a bit. I guess they're not the northern fan, but yeah, they're doing quite well actually. So yeah, the skirmishers only have single ammunition. Their their swords are not a match for our spears, as you can see it's a low threat. Only the Saxon spears are gonna be vicious and challenging. But if they leave the archers here in these pads undefended, we can take them out. Now time to land my marines. Is it though? No, we have spears here. Some here. Let's form the studio and let them waste their ammo. Um forming the studio just because the javelins are quite effective in this game. So yeah. I'm gonna land them quite a bit away. Because I don't wanna alert some of that band. And I wanna flank them around, so yeah, let's go take out these archers there. You in the studio, you in the studio, good. Are they gonna try and go for the other opening? Probably, probably. Hopefully they will. So yeah, let's land. And let's go and take out some archers. Troops have been detected. We've revealed Are they? Uh, well, I think they'll be able to do a real damage there. So, yeah, let's take out the archers. Yeah, we're holding there with our cohorts. As you can see, we've taken out. That unit of archers. Let's take this out as well. We have our marines. It's we are gonna use them as a as our own flanking force. Let's take them here. No 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 go back to the north brigade. Ah gonna gonna lose some cav here. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't quite smart. Let's have our cab disengage. Yeah, they have taken some damage. But, well, they dished out some damage as well. Yeah, let's hide them here. Probably quite a away and probably you know save them for some rear charges well no you're not gonna go for that other for that other opening so we'll have to bring our arts here our spears are holding on quite remarkably um yeah so as for you uh, I'm gonna hide you here You are holding quite remarkably well. Yeah, 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 do not engage. You silly, silly hats. So, yeah, the general is there. So, let's go take out some archers. 
Not that they moved. Open fire. And no, 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 keep back, keep back. So, yeah, Cab, come engage. You here. Fire. Are you firing? Yeah, some of you. Some of you are firing. Um, yeah, yeah, let's start some rear charges. Oh, they're gone. My cavalry will probably be able to deal with these charges here. Probably start uh, rear charging. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. They'll probably annihilate them along with their ammo. You spread. Charge the Nordic Brigade. You magnificent. Yeah, I'm gonna help, uh, you know, the spears here. We're gonna lose our cav, but that's something that's something we can sacrifice right now. No, no. Here, go from that side so we can get a better angle of attack. And you are trying to go there, which is okay. Okay. Start recharging. Yeah, you recharged, okay. Oh, that was not a good charge at all. Return, return, return. Let's, let's send this Sagittari here. Recharge. Oh, that was a good charge. That was a good charge. Should be able to break some of the units here. Yes, By your Let's get you back and you start firing. They're breaking, they're breaking. Oh, I lost my cap. Well, that was unfortunate. Yeah, come. Fire on these spears. Well, I want to keep you here. We start uh, whittling away them. You should be able to hold out long enough to defeat them. But I need you. I need you here. Yeah, you're. You're shaking, come on. We can defeat them. Hopefully. Run, run, run. Oh, well, that wasn't funny. We now only have our cohorts. And. You know, the Saxon Spears, what? Well, Try, try, and uh, you know, we will have forces. Take out as many as we can before they're able to recharge us. But we've taken out a lot of units, actually. Our cohorts are quite effective. So yeah, they're broken. Let's fire shot so we can totally break them. Yeah. And use flaming shot. Yeah, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, break, 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 break. Oh. Let's, yeah, okay, yeah, they're broken. So we can break this blob here. We should be quite quite good. But we probably 
Yeah, we need heavy shots for the general. Yeah, I forgot about the general. Crap. Run. I know you're tired. Better run. Yeah, we probably won't survive this. But at least we have taken out a large portion of their army. So... Yeah, this should be quite well. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, we'll the Nordic Warlord will break us. They, <laughs> they have glitched out on this barricade, that's fortunate for us. Um, yeah, probably, probably won't be able to spawn this. Yeah, I should have kept my cab, but you know, I I didn't quite manage it real good. So as you can see, yeah, my my co-hosts are quite quite taken out, quite worn. Uh, I lost my channel as well, so yeah, but hopefully we can break the spears, we can break the, the skirmishers, we should be okay. Yeah, let's, let's get you there. Let's change you some position, let's change you the position, we can get a better angle. And use up the last of our, of our ammo. It's a learning experience. It's a learning experience. We will learn to defend our sentiment a bit better as time passes on. So yeah. Ah, the cohorts. The cohorts are wavering. Come on, hold out long enough. Use the flaming shot, probably. We can. Uh, we don't hit our own troops, and we can. Uh, we can save some. But yeah, this this general. Uh, yeah, we won't be able to take him down. Hopefully, we can break some, and you know, relieve them. But yeah, at this point, we're, we lost some. Of them, so yeah, it was. Let's go to Valley Network. Let's get you off there. And yeah. It's yeah, it's over at this point. Let's try and take out the Yeah, the broken. Yeah, we have 40 of them, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But we, the generals, we only saw five lot, so yeah, it went quite well actually. I do. I'm gonna be starting this series and uh, one or two videos a week depending on my schedule in the university um, yeah yeah probably that's all well yeah they lost an archer's unit and I lost all of my garrison yeah okay they raided it and now they're back but their forces are quite depleted and they're gonna need uh, more uh, a lot of turns to uh, get them back uh, to full strength well, I'm tempted to give you Vienna. I'm tempted to give Vienna to 
British, the Swabians, sorry. I mean, uh... <laughs> okay. The Thuringians are... are declaring war on me. Should I call my allies? Probably yes, but I don't want to lose them from my allies if they if they don't join, so yeah. I want to keep trading with them. The Gatulians have declared war. Uh, no, I should, be, I should be... I should be okay. For now. If the Eastern Romans won't fall quite quickly. Hilarious. Yeah, use some political favors, political favors, political favors. Um, yeah, I have to, to use decree here. Okay. The other tenants were declared. Foreign transpasser. Where? Here. Yeah, the companions of Amazonia. Yeah, all this. Big issued. Nice, Venetia. Oh, they have good summer. Good summer, bad summer. And Luston is good summer. So, food shortage is ended. Okay, we ended some uh, food shortages. That's positive. In Italia, we need to, you know, sort the food out here too. Um, yeah, you're giving us public order, amphitheater, we want to convert you over to theater so we can have auditorium, no, circus, uh, history, imperial library, sorry, so deposit, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna deal with, with sanitation this turn. Um, Camelodunum, you're gonna be sacked a lot, so probably not worth rep repairing that much. Yeah, let's repair that. And let's have Corinium. No. No, 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 no. I'm gonna build uh, the auditorium. Yeah, probably for the auditorium. Short out public order. Here is looking quite well. We have fishing jetties. Here I'm gonna turn the jetty into military jetties so we can get more ships to defend. Um, yeah, let's open that. Let's have waterworks. Yeah, auditorium, and that's most of our money. Well, yeah, it's gonna take some time to sort out sanitation. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna send you to Londinium to replenish. And we need, yeah, we need the 2500 to uh, to upgrade our cohorts into Legios. It'll probably be a bit more uh, effective against them. Uh, we'll have also this heredit hereditary service next. Commander. So you garrison the barricum. Oh, you have a you have an onaga. Um, will that be useful? It's costly. That's for sure. Yeah, let's sink down to Corduba. You go to Barcara. I forgot. Let's change the governor. Let's change our governor from Lusitania. Uh, yeah, we can do that next turn. Hopefully. Taskmaster. Yeah, next turn. We're, ha we're gonna have Magnus to Lusitania to boost our our income here yeah we need uh, a lot of sanitation buildings but it's gonna be quite expensive local industry do we need local industry 
Probably not. Tear it down. Let's see Africa. No. Carthaginensis is okay. Magna Gratia. You're right. Narbonensis. Looking good, although. Yeah, I probably don't need the local industry here. Yeah, you can convert it over to fields. We have more food. You. Yeah. Africa. Looking good. Aquitania. Uh, yeah, Aquitania. Yeah. Um, you have Garrison Campant over to Avaricum. Elusa. Where's Elusa? Oh, there you are. You have the Latin Shrine. Yeah, probably at some point uh, I have to take them down a notch so we can, uh, you know, raise money if uh, we reach that point. So, query, you're good. Slurian Talis, Italia. Lugdonensis, looking good. You have Fountain, uh, which has sanitation, that's good. Liguria. Yeah, you'll probably need some sanitation there immediately. In the Alanum we have uh, we have the Riley Field. We're probably uh, we're probably gonna upgrade it to infantry grounds and probably have uh, skirmisher and uh, cavalry in this region here in Venetia. So yeah, all in all, I think it's looking quite good. Mauritania. Yeah, I should probably keep my army near Constantina. Yeah, in order to fend off the Mauritanians. The Getulians, sorry. Um, yeah, I think we're quite set here. We don't need, an we don't need anything else. We have fishing jetties. It's okay, jetty. Yeah, we don't have any more money at the moment. Let's move you down here. Also move you to Maldiolanum. Sort out some of the public order. Um, should I give them Vienna? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I should probably give them Vienna. I'll probably lose some food, but uh, replenish it. Uh, I'll build a field here. So that won't be such a, much of a problem. Yeah, otherwise, uh, I must recruit a lot of mercenaries or wait a lot of turns to recruit the Limitani border guards. So that won't be that effective. Probably I can wait we until the, the Swabians are, uh, you know are not that strong or probably until I build up my forces. Here we have an Onaga which could help with this and whittling down their forces but they have uh, a lot of units so it would be quite a task to, to bring them down. I should gather one, two, three of these armies down here and uh, I'm gonna lose a lot so it's gonna take a lot of time to recover. Uh, their recovery yeah, it's somewhat effective against our early cow, just against our scout equities. So yeah, I'll be ending this video here. So next time I'm going to be focusing on sanitation buildings and probably stabilizing the empire. That will be our uh, main goal to stabilize the empire. We'll lose a few regions. Uh, that will that is a fact, we will lose some, and uh, I'm already seeding the Dalmatian and the Illyrian ones, these these regions here, and probably all regions around the Italian mountains, the Alps. Uh, we'll only keep Aquilia and... Uh, yeah, we'll probably keep Aquilia in order to funnel them all, all, them, all of them here. We'll upgrade the guardhouse. We'll try at least and upgrade the guardhouse. So we have better defenses. We'll build this up to full force. 
and hopefully we can keep Italy, Spain, North Africa and uh, you know probably Narbonensis here and if we're lucky we can keep Britannia maybe uh, let's see what is your yeah that's gonna be our standard garrison so we'll have to make do with that garrison and there are gonna be a lot of raidings in England but we should at least try and keep Sextus protected probably recruit a few units so we can fend off the the Caledonians and the Picts that may try to you know enter our lands Eborkum Eborkum has some quite good defenses we should be able to build a guardhouse there though to help uh, you know help it defend uh, against the north the don the northern tribes and then we can convert it over to fields probably if we have a good climate still so yeah that's all for now uh, thank you for watching uh, please comment down in the video uh, what you think I should do what my strategy should be or if you're enjoying it or whether you have something to uh, say uh, I don't know in terms of the strategy that I they have laid in this laid out in this video so yeah uh, I would like to hear your opinion as well. Leave it down, uh, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Ciao for now.